Hi, I'm PJ. And I'm Salma. And we're here to talk to you about business, business communications. communications. We're often asked, what do they learn in business communications? And I think the first part is mission, vision, and value. Mm -hmm. Kind of the foundation of any good company or any good business. And then we move on to... Networking. And networking is really important because we want students to know that inside the classroom they can talk to each other, but then also know that within a business, networking is super important in order for you to get your name out there. After networking, we usually go to branding, which is one of my favorites because we get to be a little bit more artistic in talking about what does our brand look like, how is it represented visually to the consumer. And then after that, we would create a business plan. This is where a lot of research skills are going to come into place because you need to know the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for your business. And you need to take that into consideration as you're planning out your business. And then another one of my favorite parts is creating a pitch. So they actually have to create a business pitch in order to sell their product in a very short period of time to a consumer or somebody who's listening and wanting to invest. And a really good help to that is actually using visual aids. So with that, we do a lot of work to talk about when to use a visual aid, when is a visual aid important, if you need it to move across the screen, if it is there just to supplement your material. That's really important because visual aids help supplement your business pitch. And then we move into the next stage, which is questioning. So how well does a business professional answer questions about their company and about their product, which is really an important part of creating a good business plan. Mm -hmm. And then with that, you need to know not only how to answer questions, but also how to negotiate. So you want to know what you bring to the table and what you can take from the table. And that's why we work on negotiation skills. And then we go into business ethics. In other words, what part of your product serves a certain portion of a community? And probably my favorite part after that, we talk about the legal aspect of business because we want you to know how to make a business pitch, but then also to know what goes behind that. Things like contracts, things like employee documentation, things like your domain within the sphere that you're in. And all of that's really important because we want them to have a holistic experience at Business Camp. And then we end our camp experience with presentations. So every pairing gets up and presents several times to a group of people and tries to pitch whatever their overall product is.